Northeast Tennessee Republican Congressman David Kostoff joins us live with what this could mean for West Tennessee residents. Welcome. Good to have you with us. Thank you very much, Kim. Good to be here. Well, first of all, it's looking like the bill will not make it to the Senate. What are some of the changes that are going to have to come next, do you think? Well, I don't know that that's the fact. Let's go backwards. The fact of the matter is, is that we know that we think that everybody should have health care who wants health care. They shouldn't be denied for pre-existing conditions. They shouldn't be denied because, uh, because they're um, uh, on their parents' health insurance coverage. Let them keep that. The, but the fact of the matter is, is that we're seeing health insurers leave the market. So, for instance, in Memphis, if you're on the Obamacare exchange, you have the choice of one health care insurance company. Mm -hmm. If you're in you don't have next year, you won't have any health insurance company on the exchange. So we've got to do what we need to do to uh, repair and, and replace Obamacare. And I think the bill that, that we have right now is a good framework to try to get there. All right. So there is, though, a lot about what will happen to people in West Tennessee. There's a lot of concern. Will people pay more or less? Well, hopefully, hopefully when competition is introduced, they will be paying less because the next step after this bill, after this bill, we hope is that people will be able to buy health insurance across state lines. I talked about right now on, on the exchanges, you have the choice or you will have the choice of only one insurer. Well, if you're ultimately allowed to buy health insurance, if you live in Memphis or Shelby County or West Tennessee, say that there's a plan in Arkansas that better fits the needs of you or your family, let you buy the plan in, in Arkansas or Mississippi or Missouri again so the competition is there. Ultimately, that will lower premiums and I believe ultimately will, will lower uh, deductibles as well because that that's the thing. You've seen over the last five, six, seven years mm -hmm. that people say my premiums have doubled and even tripled and that's real money. And you've seen, and I've talked to plenty of people whose deductibles have gone from $500 to 1000 to 5000 to 10000 It's just, frankly, at this stage, not sustainable. Well, let's talk about the cost of health care and, and the reason health care is so expensive, um, such as the cost of medicine. What's being done about that? Well, you're right. I mean, that, and that's, that's a whole different issue, and it's something that, that President Trump has talked about. He met with health care executives and with legislative leaders last week about the rising cost of, of drug prices. I don't think it's, take the EpiPen for example, you hate to single anybody out. One maker of the EpiPen and we saw dramatic increases in the price of something that apparently is very, uh, is very cheap to, to produce. Well, we don't need that. We need, we need drugs that people need for life-saving measures to not increase 100 and 300 uh, percent, but that's a, that is a different issue. I think what, what you see the Republicans right now focusing on, and you will for the next several weeks, is what does the replacement look like for Obamacare, and ultimately, Kim, the goal is, is to try to have that done by Easter. All right. Well, that's all the time we have right now. But thank you so much for coming in. West Tennessee Republican Congressman David Kustoff, uh, we appreciate you coming in and talking to us about this issue.